Well, everybody, welcome back to Chat and Chill News. Hey, listen, yesterday was crazy. Let's get down to business. Did someone just pull a prank on the UK, dar? We're going to start with bomb threats in school. Do you have kids? Or maybe you was one of the students in school. Were you told to evacuate the building? Was there an email scale? Well, I'm here to answer you and tell you, yes, a lot of news outlets already reported it, like 10 hours before me anyways. But there was 2,400 emails sent to schools across the UK, um, like in the area, London, Manchester, and North, North Yorkshire, most notably. Um, and, um, you know, it was a bomb threat. Basically, he was demanding £5,000. Um, if he didn't pay, if he didn't pay that £5,000, a bomb will apparently blow up. Now, it was basically saying that the bomb was in one of the students' bags, and yeah, basically, teachers, schools, and everybody got scared, and you know what I'm saying, trying to get kids outside of school very well, and I heard from, obviously, it happened at my little sister's school as well, I heard everything went run smoothly, went down pretty good, and yeah, it was a very quick process, it went out. You know how you do. It's normally like a fire drill. You come out, make sure every student is there, and you know if the situation is resolved, you go back inside. Um, now the CEO of Minecraft has came out and said that the person that did this potentially is a Minecraft gamer who could have been banned and was doing so just to ruin his reputation. The reason why that is because they used an account which is I think it was PVP something like that, which is kind of like connected with the Minecraft users, and he came out and said, no, it's not one of us. Um, it could just be somebody who got banned and got really angry and wanted to ruin their reputation. Um, he also came out and said that Minecraft was a game for young kids um, between 11 and 18 years old. Um, obviously trying to explain that the game is basically a childish game and is not no kind of, you know, cyberball, you know, because obviously people want to know, like, yo, listen, man, your game's got some, you know what I mean? So it's coming out in defense of his game. Minecraft, if you didn't know, it's one of the biggest games used in the world. Um, I remember two, three years ago when it was at its peak, and everywhere I went, people were just playing Minecraft. Even my own friends were playing Minecraft, and they were a lot older than 18, so... Salute to Minecraft, man, are out there doing their thing. Um, again, it was, it was interesting um, because, you know, the guy that did write the email used Arabic writing and stuff, and, you know, everybody out here screaming, oh, God, you know! I mean, it's just like, nah, chill, man. It's not that serious, you know? I hate when people are so quick to just come out with the whole Islamic thing. <laughs> it really pisses me off, but it's the world we're in today. Anyways, next story. Um, mother wants cannabis oil legalized to help treat her son's epilepsy. Now, there's been a petition that's been come forward with 370,000 signatures and counting to get cannabis oil to be legalized. Now, she's going to actually present this with her son to number 10, so Theresa May. Um, to try and get this thing legalized. Now, it is also stated that he has over 150 seizures per month. 150 seizures per month, and this cannabis oil can help prevent all of those seizures from happening and help treat his epilepsy. Um, again, there's, uh, there's a lot of things coming out that they're going to try it on him, etc., etc., so they can legalize it. Um, I mean, it's been proven to work in, you know, countries that do legalise it anyway, so I don't see the point of it, why not, to make it legalised. Um, I think cannabis in general should just be prescribed, so, you know, people want to grow weed, they can grow, I don't know, just tax it, it's not that serious, just tax weed. Um, it's not like one of, it's not, it's not cocaine or speed, you know, it's not at that level of drug. I, I don't personally really do cannabis, I have tried it, I have done it should I say, used to be a regular back in the day, but not really on it like that now, but yeah, like, listen, cannabis is not that strong, um, I just think if you want to take it, just take it, it's not that serious, but anyway, let's get into our next story, a student who reported being racially abused got suspended, yes, you heard it correctly, she came out and told her university that somebody was calling her the n-word, singing the, um, the alleged um, racial word of Eeny, meeny, miny, mo, certain, certain, n word, the, you know what I'm saying, at her. And she went to the uni, well, she posted on social media first, the university then responded, saying, I'm going to take um, action and get it sorted out with. But, out of nowhere, they turned around and suspended a young girl called Elizabeth instead. Yes, they suspended her, the one that's getting racially abused, not the one 
not the one abusing her, the one that reported it got suspended. I mean, if you remember, I think it was last week now, we spoke about the um, the young lady that was, you know, locked up in a campus, getting racially abused, and nobody took action until a video came out. It's crazy how we're in a situation where I didn't realise how far behind universities were in terms of racism. They don't seem to be able to deal with racism at all. They're pretty bad at it, it looks like. Um, especially in this country. I didn't realise this country was so bad at racism. I didn't even know universities was this peak with racism. Um, so, oh, it's interesting, it's interesting. Um, sort yourself out, uni, man. Oh, sort yourself out, man. You can't be suspending girls for, like, being... Don't, not wanting to be racially abused. It makes no sense. You're basically saying, you know what, B? We don't want you at this university. Get out of here. No. You can't do that. No. Anyways, next story. A toddler has died hours after she was rescued from a car found in a Welsh river. Now, there was reports that um, a car was stolen, a mini to be exact, um, by Facebook, so somebody on Facebook, or well, the person, I guess, who lost their car posted on Facebook that, hey, listen, our mini has been stolen, please can you find it, yada, yada, yada. Now, the police got a phone call about the mini girl missing at 3.30pm on Monday and happened to find it just after 5pm in the Welsh River. Now, the police are asking people to come forward and investigate if you did see the car go into the river. I'm not 100% sure where the parents are in this scenario because reading the story... Not really much about the parents of such, so I don't know if they're missing too, but the mini is apparently stolen and pe please are asking people to come forward if they've seen anything or heard anything. So yeah man, I guess it's a, it's a, it's a story to, I'll probably have to come back to, probably tomorrow hopefully, um, and kind of see what the outcome is with this particular story. But yes, a young girl has died, I'm sure she was turning three in a week's time. Not very good times. Um, according to some people, you know, she was a very happy, lovely girl. And, you know, a very unfortunate. I hope every family member, friends, etc. Um, I hope they're, they're all right. And, yeah, man, let's get into the next story. My next story is to do with Netflix. You done know already? Every man watching Netflix. Every man chilling on Netflix. Every man rolling on Netflix. You want Netflix and chill? Anyway, I don't know about that one. I mean, I don't mind chilling, though. <laughs> Yeah, you don't want to chill me. Anyways, um, let's get into the next place. Has revealed 10 horror movies that viewers are too terrified to finish. Yes, you heard it here first. Too terrified to finish. I don't know if you heard it here first, because it was actually reported before I... Yeah, you've heard it here first, innit? Let's leave it like that. But let's get into the story, innit? Well, it's not really a story. I'm going to give you a list of the movies. Comment down in the section below if you've seen any of these movies. Comment down in the section below if you can handle watching these movies. And comment down in the section below if you want to chill. <laughs> anyway, let's get into the story. Cabin Fever. We've got Carnage Park, Mexico Barbora, Piranha, Raw, Teeth. Oh, Teeth. <laughs> I wonder what that's about. The Conjuring, The Human Centipede 2, Fool Experience, The Void, and Jerusalem. Damn. Um, I don't know, man. I'm going to put them in the link in the description below if you want to check them out. Check the trailer out. I mean, I don't know. I know a girl called Hanan. She's telling me she's into this horror life. Listen, Hanan, I'm about to hit you up with a couple of horror of these movies and see if you're finishing it, bro. Because, I don't know. I, <laughs> I was looking at some of the, the kind of cover arts, you know what I'm saying? I was like, oh, I don't know what's this. This looks big. I was like, I can handle horrors, yeah, to an extent. <laughs> I don't know all of that. But anyways, man, I hope you guys enjoyed the news. Comment down and below what you think about the news. I'll be back here tomorrow for more news. And you know what I'm saying? Um, no really sports to talk about today other than, you know, Shaw's apparently going to Chelsea, Neymar's partying with a broken leg and, you know, it's international break. See you tomorrow.